we are bright and somewhat awake and definitely caffeinated and Riley is waving to you in the mirror. Um, got a couple of things planned for today. We do have a crafty activity. We're making coasters or decorating coasters. You are about to cut out. Bear with me. Uh, And now we have more battery, battery pack. Right, so as I was saying, we have crafty coasters this morning, which I assume is decorating coasters. Um, we need to hit the fun fair, uh, the little ones fun fair. So we'll show you around that one because our friend Georgia really wants to go on the train. Um, so we're gonna do train. We're probably then, well, the fun fair. We're probably then gonna go to the arcade for a little bit. Our coasters isn't until two. We're not doing swimming today because I am exhausted and in a lot of pain. Chasing Riley around a swimming pool for two days without having anybody else to tap out to has been a bit much. Um, so we're not swimming today. We do have two shows today. Whether or not we'll get to them all, I'm not sure. We've got dinosaurs versus animals this afternoon before tea. And then we have Fun in Reds or something like that. I'll put the name of it up on the screen. I thought it was Let Us Entertain You. Might be Let Us Entertain You. No, that's Robbie Williams. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen anyway, rather than me and Samantha argue over it. Um, that's at nine o'clock, so we're not sure we're going to get to that one. But we've got it booked on the safe side, and we'll cancel it if we don't. So a few things to do today, a few things to show you today, and just a bimble around, um, because we won't have like, what, three hours cut out of the middle of this for us to go swimming. I am caffeinated, I'm not caffeinated enough. I'm sorry, I'm bumbling at you. Right, we are gonna go brush our teeth, which reminds me, monster under the bed. No. Please go and brush your teeth. No. Um, and then we are gonna go out and find the fun fair, at least to start with. <laughs> we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit.
today. <laughs> Good. Because you're not getting up. And they'd be too spicy for you. made it to the craft. It turns out today was crafty um, coasters, if I show you. Riley is doing a butterfly. Mac is currently eating a dabber. The adults could do one as well. I mean, we kind of had an eyebrow rose, but you know, kids like us to do crafts with them. And Sammy has a heart. So, these Mama has the reviews day. for us. Yeah. And then the kids ones, because of the type they are, they will get a puffy foam. We'll show you that in a minute. Are you okay, guys? How are you getting on? Good. Right up Good. there, straight. Is it? <laughs> squishy and squashy, That's isn't what it? We like to hear. Yeah, they're quite fun to play with, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> the we do play. just have some of this at home just do to you? play with. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> oh, I like this. So, don't, so make sure you still have gaps. Darling, leave her alone. We have just snipped back to the room. We did, as you saw, we went to the arcade this morning. Um, from the arcade, we went to the fun fair. We didn't actually play in the fun fair. We just stopped off, honestly, for a bench um, so we could have a quick snack. Um, met up with Lynn and the girls and went to make the ca crafty coasters. So you could either do one with foam putty and it sticks and it hardens itself, or two seconds. There, May, yeah. darling, hush. Sorry. Thank you. Can I just do it this? Hold on. Right, sorry about that. Um, you could either do, as I said, the foamy ones where it hardens itself, or you do a mosaic one, which is a bit more effort. Um, they have said that the 9 plus and the 5 plus is actually guidelines only. You can have younger ones, you can have older ones. Me and Lynn did one. Um, and also do check if just because it's full, they were saying they could have a list of 40 people and most of the time only 20 turn up. So do check, just have a wonder across there and they can usually fit you in. Um, we are going to go out to the fair now, let the kids ride on that for a little bit. Um, weatherman said it wasn't rain. I'm not convinced, really not convinced. So we're going to go on the fun fair now. We've got a show at 4.30, but we've got a good hour and a half until then. So we are going to go on some rides. Ah! And we've hit this point of the holiday where Ryan needs his chair, his uh, feet, the ligaments, arches and things like that are a bit sore for him. So he's hit the point where he needs to use his chair. So we've dug that out of the car and he's waiting here. We're hiding at the moment because it's raining in the fun fair. Well, Samantha is up on that. She's the orange blur that keeps going past. Sorry, orange and purple blur. She is somewhere. There she is. And because it's raining, guess where we end up again? Is that it? Like that. So, are you ready then? Uh, oh, anybody with a plastic 
asking Tommy retorts on their phone, get it in the air, double points for that family. It has been a couple of hours since last time I spoke to you. This is a quick speak. We have watched the show. We then went to dinner. Uh, we've just finished up dinner now. It's just after seven, which is when they serve to. And we're gonna probably head to... this evening we went to the arcade after dinner um played for a while right got more bouncy balls that he's obsessed with at the moment and then we went to the bathroom to wash our hands um because of the 2p yuckiness before we moved on to some of the other games the children like and unfortunately samantha left worry monster in the bathroom um we went back four minutes later having realized that he'd been left and he was gone. Now we are hoping that because the football's on and things that somebody took him to the table and at the end of football we'll be handing him in. Um, we're not sure. We checked with security and all the lost and found places that it would have gone. Um, cleaners, um, closet and things like that but he's not been handed in yet. Samantha's not, Samantha's handling it really well actually, she's doing very well. Um, I think it's because she knows that should he actually be lost and somebody doesn't hand him in, that we can do a soul transfer like we did at the beginning of the holiday, to transfer his new soul over and we can get his soul back out so they're just left with an empty shell of a worry monster and we get actual worry monster back. So I think having set that up, that she's actually handling things a lot better. Um, because you saw the transfer at the beginning of the holiday. We do that whenever Worry Monster's body is getting old and beaten. Um, we've done it twice now. Uh, Worry Monster's soul gets transferred into the new body. Um, we have to be in long discussions with the Worry Monster gods and get a new body sent up. And then we can perform the ritual to transfer the soul to the new body. And I think it helps, we've only just done that. So it's a new worry monster. The old worry monster's still at home. And she knows we can pull his soul back from where it is. So we're okay at the moment. I'm not sure it's gonna stay that way. It helps, she's got her new friend, Mac. All I can say is, A, I hope that the person who found it hands it in. It's unlikely, but we can hope there's humanity out there. And if not, hopefully she can last another couple of days with her new friend Mac until we can get home and get the old worry monster. So that's why I didn't video a lot tonight. A lot of it was running around trying to find worry monster, trying to see if anybody had handed him in and trying to make sure that she was okay. Uh, so we came back to the room, we had, they had Nutella on crumpets because, you know, they've got to have supper because they're on holiday. Excuse me. <sighs> oh, they're wearing me out. Um, and then I tucked them up in bed. And she seems okay, and I hope she's okay. Um, I'll keep you updated. We're going to go to guest services tomorrow and just double check and see if, He's been handed in because apparently everything in the morning that's been found. So I'm shaking you because I'm itching my shoulder. Um, everything that gets found goes over to guest services in the morning. So we'll have breakfast and we'll head over there and have a look. As I said, it's unlikely, but you've got to have some hope in humanity. Anyway, that is it for this evening. We are tucked up. You can see pajamas, um, no children bouncing around because they're already in bed. Um, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I think we're going to the craft thing. Not sure we've got any shows on. 
and I'll probably take them swimming because it'll probably be the last time we get a chance before the end of the holiday because I don't think it's open on Friday. Yeah, anyway, I'm tired babbling and I'm also annoyed babbling. I miss Worry Monster, so hopefully we'll get him back. Um, a complete pause. Sorry, so tired. Right, I'm going to sign off before I fall asleep on camera. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for whatever it is we are doing and whatever it is we get up to. Okay. Oh, I'll also update you tomorrow about the... You know what? I'll do that now. I'm sorry. Right, so the ignore the camera. There's a big mirror behind me. Um, so the Animal vs. Dinosaur show, if you ever at Butlins or anywhere else where they're showing it and you get a chance to see it, go and see it. The guys are amazing. There is a little bit of toilet humour in it, passing wind and stuff like that, but it makes the kids laugh. That's as bad as it gets, really. The yard innuendo, but nothing that anything under the age of 14 is going to pick up on. Um, some of them even go over Sammy's head. Um... It's a brilliant show. They're kind of life-size pu puppets. Um, there's songs in there. The main storyline is about conservation and saving the endangered animals and the ones that we've lost. And it does get a bit sad in places, but it is a really great show. We've seen it three, four times now, and it just gets better. It really does. It's a good one. Um, so I just wanted to tell you about that one, because obviously... I all day all you've heard is I'll tell you about that later I'll tell you about that later and I haven't <coughs> so now I have it's a good show go and see it uh, they're called the animal guys with a z z oh American sorry with a z um they're brilliant so definitely go and see that show I don't think I've got anything else to review I would do the coasters again I told you about those right I'm going to sleep now <laughs> because I really am bumbling I will try and edit this into some sort of semblance there's probably not a lot to it okay so I will say properly good night now and we'll see you tomorrow good night guys <laughs>